Hello Fly Crew and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are heading to Paris. Alright everyone, I have already briefed with my crew members and I'm working in the 3 right position. We're flying on the Airbus 330 aircraft. Now what I like about the 3 right position is that when you go to your destination, you're in that position. And when you leave your destination, you're in that same position so you don't switch. Now what's interesting about today's flight is that I am not the most junior. I don't think that's happened to me in quite a while. There are actually two flight attendants that are less junior than me. So when it came to getting my favorite position or at least my favorite position right now, it was fairly easy. So I like that. We're delayed by 20 minutes. And the reason why we're delayed is because Paris told us that we can't land before 5.45 a.m. So they delayed our flight by 20 minutes just to slow us down a little bit. But we still should land 10 minutes early. So we'll be arriving before 6 a.m. in Paris. I've already done my pre-flight checks. I've already set out all of my amenity kits. So I'm actually going to check on my crew one more time to see if they need any assistance and I'll catch you all when we get to Paris. I'm back in Paris. My room is pretty much identical to what it was last time, except for a few things. The beds. So I have two single beds this time, and I'm pretty sure you can slide these together. I actually just recently had this in one of my blogs. I think it was Amsterdam, where I had two single beds, and you can kind of separate them or whatever, but we won't be doing that. I probably do need to push them together, because it's been a really long time since I've slept on a single bed, and I don't want to fall off because that would suck. Oh yeah, you can easily push these together. So I actually might do that because it might take me about three business days to recover if I fall out of a bed at my age. <laughs> I absolutely love the closet mirror type setup they have because I, I just love this. And I think it's a really cool and unique idea. We have the cooler there at the bottom with the fridge and a desk. This is my view outside of my room. And then the bathroom is a little bit different as well. So the shower is actually opposite this time, meaning that the shower head was on the right side last time. This time it's on the left. And then my sink setup is different. I can't remember how it was different, but I felt like I had more counter space last time and it was a little bit higher. And then we still have that toilet area in here with just the toilet and then nothing in front of you. And this is different, the magnified mirror, but I feel like it should be more light and there is a switch and ooh, I like this a lot. It's currently 8.41 a.m. here in Paris and it took us quite a while to get from the airport here to the hotel. There is traffic. Today is Wednesday, so it is a weekday and we landed at 5.55, but we didn't get to the gate and start deplaning until about maybe 6.15. So that put us with the deplaning process and then clearing customs to where we were driving right during rush hour traffic. So it was a pretty good amount of time that we were just kind of scooping along here and there and then when we got closer near our hotel area it did kind of speed up a little bit in my mind I was like oh we should be to the hotel by eight o'clock and then when eight twelve came I was like oh okay 
me and another crew member are going to hang out and I actually feel kind of bad because there is a newer more junior flight attendant that was here and I was intending to ask her like what were her plans or what did she want to do but I had to use the restroom I didn't expect us to take that long getting from the airport to the hotel and I thought I timed it too I made sure I used the restroom twice before I got out the aircraft but with that rush hour commute that we had here it just put me to where I was kind of in a tight by the time I got to the hotel I brought my bags in I was like I'm going to the restroom y'all and I did that and by the time I came out most of us had already kind of dispersed a little bit I didn't really have a lot of plans here for Paris today you all know I love to go to the grocery stores when I go to these places so I'm going to go to Monoprix last time I did not go see the Eiffel Tower I just looked at it from afar and I do plan on getting closer to the Eiffel Tower today my crew member mentioned that she kind of wanted to go to a museum she's not quite sure which museum she wants to go to we're going to give each other a little bit of time to get everything together and then we're going to make a game plan my layover here is around 27 hours but my van time tomorrow is at 6 30 a.m and that time includes the commute because like i just mentioned to you all it did take us quite a while to get here to the hotel so i'm assuming it's going to be the same with tomorrow getting to the airport with that being said i do not plan on taking a nap i just kind of want to shower give myself a few minutes to decompress and then hit the ground running it is winter here in europe which i think i've said that so many times by now but it is winter time it's going to get darker earlier but that's actually going to work to my advantage this time because I do want to see the Alpha Tower in the daytime kind of at dusk and then leading into the nighttime so I can see it sparkle up close. The flight was good. Customers were good. We did have one minor issue with the customer. He's very tall and he was trying to convince other customers to switch seats with him. Nobody wanted to do that. People just want the seat that they came with so they kind of worked it out and they settled it. I wanted to pop in and give you an update let you all know how everything is going. I'm going to go ahead and connect with my crew member as well as get ready for the day and I'll catch you all in a little bit. All right, fly crew, I am dressed and I'm getting ready to head to the grocery store, but I feel like I'm a little too dressed up to go to the grocery store. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a white top, a skirt, some fleece line tights, and some knee boots. Let me remix this a little bit. I left on my knee boots because these jeans were kind of long on me. I put on some jeans. I kept the same white top and I have this jacket on. I'll probably change when I come back, but I just want to put this on to go to the grocery store because I am going to come back. And also to check out the weather. It was a little windy when we came in, but when we came in, it was a little earlier. So I know it's going to warm up. I think the temperature is going to be 59 degrees today. So let me go. Go ahead and meet her and I'll catch y'all in a little bit. All right, fly crew, I am back in the room. I'm actually gonna change my jeans because I did not bring a belt and these jeans keep sliding down. Very uncomfortable. I cannot explore and walk around and experience that. This is everything I got from Monoprix. I'm actually upset because I have a bag that I got from Monoprix last time that I purchased and I said, Courtney, don't forget your bag. And I forgot it. So I had to purchase two more bags, but I just made sure that I didn't get the bag that I got last time. That's why I ended up getting two of these. And I kind of said that I'll compensate because I'm gonna use these when I go back home. So I ended up getting some champagne. This champagne was recommended to me by some senior flight attendants the last time I came to Paris. I ended up getting a smaller bottle of champagne that I'm gonna take to the Eiffel Tower later on. I got this wine last time when I was here and I really liked it. I drank it and I was like, oh, I like this. So I made sure I got another bottle. And then I just got these two small bottles right here. Also got a Riesling. I also got these chips. Y'all know I love these, but I got two bags for myself and then I got another bag for my friend. I posted them in my story. I think my Amsterdam haul, she was like, oh my God, I love them. And I was like, I'll bring a bag back next time I go to Europe and here I am. And then I decided to try their salt and vinegar chips. Love the chocolate in Europe and I love Kit Kats. I got two things of olives, their Monoprix brand, and then I got some Madelines. This is everything that I got this time on my shopping haul. I keep forgetting today is Valentine's Day, so I see roses everywhere and they have special menus. I'm glad we're eating early. 
the sun actually came out in Paris today. Very shocked about it. on Valentine's Day is kind of wild, but it's really cute. Everybody's dressed up. They have roses. They're taking pictures. It's really lovely. There's a ton of people here. Let me show y'all. For your security, we recommend you to keep your guard de maintien. For your safety, you are kindly reminded to hold on to the handrail. Please ensure that you have all of your luggage with you. Good morning, Fly Crew. Today is day 303 and I'm currently in Paris. I've just cleared security. As you all know, I purchased wines, so we have to get additional screening when we do that, even when we're in uniform here in Paris. And right now we're headed to the gate. So because of that, we have about 15 minutes to get to the gate. We're really close by, so we're making our way that way. We're making our way that way. I would like to grab a croissant because, you know, I always like to get a croissant while I'm in Europe because I just feel like the bread and how they make it is just different and I like the taste of it. I was intent to talk to y'all last night before I got showered and changed, but before I went to sleep, but before I knew it, I was asleep. Alright Fly Crew, so I'm on the airplane, I'm putting my bags up and we should be boarding in the next 11 minutes. I just wanted to pop in and let you all know that I'm into the aircraft, I'm flying in the same position which is 3 right and I'll catch you all when I get to Atlanta. Alright Fly Crew, I made it back here to Atlanta, that was such a busy flight. That was also kind of a short flight too because typically it's taking me like 11-ish hours but this one was a little bit less than nine. I think the block time was a little bit over nine just because you know taxi take off waiting for gate but the flight time was only eight hours and 51 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get home and I'll tell you all more about it. I'll catch you in a little bit. My car says it's 67 degrees in Atlanta. I really think it's around like maybe 60-ish, but it's winter time here. It's crazy. You got a haircut, you looking handsome. All right, Fly Crew, I am home. Don't mind my collar. I actually stopped by the chiropractic office before I came home because I realized I had been two weeks since I had been adjusted and I felt it. My body needed it because I worked hard today. I'm gonna go ahead and run through this really quickly because I need to go and take a nap because I'm gonna go to the movies later on tonight and I wanted to tell you all this fresh while it was on my mind. Coming back here to Atlanta today, we landed an hour early. Yes, an hour early. So I was like, oh my God, we're landing super early so as soon as I stepped off the aircraft I texted my chiropractor and I was like I need my whole body put in alignment and she was like girl please because it's been two weeks since we've adjusted each other and we both need it so I went over there and got adjusted now today about the flight it was just busy <laughs> no simple way to put it I have like creamer on my skirt creamer on my stockings on my shoes my stockings are torn all up and it was so funny because when I laid on the chiropractor table Dr. Rachel was like what is this? And I said, it's Kramer. Don't worry. And I was sitting in the jump seat where it's two customers who sit in front of my jump seat. So when I sat down, I was like, whoo, 
and they both just died laughing. They were like, you work hard. That's why I was like, I know. I said, look, my stock is torn up. I'm dirty and everybody was just laughing in the corner. I feel like it was more stuff that I wanted to tell y'all, but now that I'm home, it's just kind of leaving my head. And I've been home. I think I told y'all I've been home for a little minute. Let Max jump on me for 72 seconds straight because I haven't seen him. And I let him do it today because my stockings were already torn. So I just let him do it for a little while because he never gets to do it anymore. As you can tell, Max got a haircut. I think it looks really cute with like his little beard or whatever. And I had them shave down his tail a little bit. Plus it's been hotter in Atlanta lately, like closer to 60 and a little bit over 60. So I was like, this just works out. So I think he looks really cute with his new haircut. I was supposed to start a three day trip tomorrow. Thank goodness when I looked at my board yesterday in Paris. I saw that someone had taken it off my board and honestly it wasn't a bad trip and I would have had a good amount of rest here at home but I just didn't want to work six days in a row. I'm just not about that life right now at all. I think that was everything that I wanted to tell y'all. If I remember anything else I will pop back on here and let you all know. I knew it was gonna be something that I forgot to tell y'all. I got an injury on the airplane. I'm being dramatic. Yes, this is an injury, but it's not major. So you see this little cut I got, this gash? My hands are ashy, don't mind that. But you see this gash that I got on my forehead? So I was putting my bag in the overhead bin and I felt something like go across my face, but it didn't really hurt. I just moved it, honestly. I don't really remember what happened. I just remember something going across my face, but I just kept putting my bags up. And then my forehead started started stinging like five minutes later I peep in the mirror and I'm like why do I see blood now I wasn't like pouring from my face that was what I was worried about because if you get any cuts around your face you know you have a lot of blood flow to your brain therefore your head so if you get like any tiny cut or something like that it could like pour and you just no. I went and I dabbed some cold water on it and I saw that it swole up a little bit and then the little blood that was there which is about the same amount that's here now kind of coagulated. That's what happened. So I'm really working on my skin because I've noticed that since I'm at my new airline I'm just being exposed to different things and different experiences overall and my skin is going through it and typically this is not the place where I used to get pimples when I did. I would get them in this area. So I'm getting those which are kind of under control now but now I'm getting like chin acne. I have an esthetician appointment scheduled for next week. I'm going to get a deep cleaning facial and everything I need to get done because this can't go on. I'm getting everything under control. So if you see like some random gash or cut on my face in the future, it was from this Paris trip. That's what I forgot to tell y'all. So at this moment, I want to thank you all so much for watching my vlog. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are going to Thailand in November. Click the link in my description. You can go to my community tab on my page to get all the information about it. I would love for you all to join. The first eight people who book do get a discount and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.